Um, well, again, sorry, I'm going to have to check time. Got a little bit more time before I have to stop. I'm going to use this object, info tilde, and I'm going to tell it to refer to buff1. So this is another object which is going to refer to the buffer that we've got here. And what I can do is I can send a bang message to that, uh, to that object and it will spit out data for me about that, um, about the buffer or, the, or, or its contents. So first of all, uh, the sample rate, the sample instrument info, the sustain loop start and sustain loop end. Well, none of these mean an awful lot to us at the moment. Release loop start, release loop end. Total time. There you are. That's actually what we want. Remember, I want to know how long the file is. So total le length, total time of the file. If I um, connect the outlet there to the inlet of the uh, right-hand inlet of the multiplication object and send, actually I can send that also to a float object so that we can see it, I will send the length of the file, which isn't quite 7,000 milliseconds, it's actually 6,857 points, something rather, uh, milliseconds. So, that's kind of handy. One other thing we could do is to uh, look for a way of sending that information as soon as the file loads, which we can do by sending uh, by connecting to the right-hand outlet of the buffer object, which happens to, as you see, bang when file read operation is completed. So if I connect that to the button object there, what will happen is we drop a file into there, it replaces the contents of the buffer, once that's loaded in, it sends a bang out to info, which sends the file length out into the right-hand inlet of the multiplication object, which means that we have the appropriate length of uh, file. So 0 to 1 coming from line will make it read from 0 to, in this case, 6,857 milliseconds and therefore play through the file. So we have basically uh, our engine, uh, which I'm just going to neaten up a little and I'm going to make all of this one uh, kind of module, if you like. So I'm going to get rid of this button object because we this is outputting a bang so it can go straight into the info object. Um, and uh, I'll leave that there so that we can see what's going on. What I will also add though is a, um, a number tilde box underneath here so that we can see um, that uh, the line object is counting according to what we want. Um, I will just change the update interval to 20. I've explained in a previous tutorial why I'm doing that. And I will connect one of those also to the outlet of line so you can see that it is uh, what I've just talked about is actually happening. So again, if I <coughs> click on this object here, you will see that this is counting from 0 to 1 but it's been multiplied by the number that's coming out of the info object here. So it will count to 6,857 milliseconds. So like I say, I'm going to put that there. Um, and then I'm going to duplicate all of this. And change the buffer names. Uh, or, or everything that refers to, to these buffers. So instead of buff 1, I'm going to change this to buff 2. I'm going to change this to buff 2. And I'm going to change the play object to buff 2 as well. So none of this is referring to anything over here. This is all self-contained. And once again, I'm going to connect uh, the line to the multiplication object over here. Sorry, it's getting a bit cluttered now. Um, maybe I should in lift these up a little bit so, it's, so you can see what's going on. Um, and I'm going to connect these to the left and the right outlets of, or inlets of the um, EZ DAC. Um, so now I can ch uh, drag a different sound into here. So I will choose, what will I choose? Uh, I shall have to hope. Oh, let's try Asian Gamelan and see whether that works. So in this case, um, I can't remember exactly which, which one I chose before. It was one of the classic rock beats, which I believe is 1.2 uh, megabytes big. 
and the Asian Gamelan is only 754 kilobytes so it's definitely shorter and actually we'll be able to hear that if I play it back uh, come along play back <laughs> Okay, but it's still got eight beats in it and then similarly the classic rock beat I can't remember which of these it was well, it's something one of these. but again it's got eight well two times four beats in it so it's got eight beats in it um, so now if I um, and we notice now that we've got uh, you know different lengths but we're still counting to zero to one over the same amount of time here so by multiplying by different amounts over here um, we can forget the 7000 in here incidentally just to because um, oops, there we go. Um, oop. yeah I'll, I'll, uh, whoops <laughs> I made a mistake there okay I'll have to reload the sounds um, because having having reinitialized the objects it's forgotten what number it got from here so I will send in well I'll send in this one because we know that it's eight beats long and we will send in the Asian Gamelan and once again we have the, the appropriate numbers so six six eight five seven point blah 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 and this one is four four thousand two hundred and twenty so they w they will count Oops, I need to turn this up. and you notice that the two beats are synchronized Um, which is kind of cool, I think. Um, and we could we could get it to loop by connecting the, if you remember, the right-hand outlet of line, bang when line reaches destination, so we can connect that to the inlet of uh, this. And it will loop. You've got a little bit of a, um, a, a, a dicky end or transition between those, which is because uh, we're combining MSP and Max, which is not necessarily such a good idea for this purpose. So we'll use something else in a minute to, to ameliorate that. But you get the idea, it kind of works. Um, and we should be able to drag in any sound and have that work appropriately. So in this case, uh, I will choose an electronic drum beat. Let's see whether that gives me something appropriate. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to tell with that one. Let's try Deep House Dance Beat. There we go. So they are synchronised again. In spite of the fact that they are different lengths. Obviously they've been transposed to do that, but it still works um, if you're using percussive sounds in particular. So, um, I'm going to stop that for the moment and we could of course add additional uh, engines for uh, a buff 3 for a buffer which is labeled buff 3 for example and then have a third um, uh, available uh, you know sound that is synchronized once again you could keep adding um, and generate some really complex stuff that is once again synchronized 